Good evening, good evening, good evening. And if you look to the top right of the screen, you will see we are in the public test server for the next patch, 1.6. Reiteration 0.5, so the very early build, the very start of it. And I'm going to go through a couple of significant changes. Hopefully not much of this will change before release, because I'm going to go hit on the major ones that are pretty much firm into the new build. First off, weapons. These named ones are now called exotics and they have a special talent as you can see this one's got this matches up with the liberator and you get a set a two set bonus if you use the liberator and the centurion together. got a little bit of script on the end of this one for a change nothing extra on the pharaoh's oxygen mask we'll go down to things like the cassidy for example this has got a new talent called boomstick a double trigger files off both barrels boom ba doom boom boom pakan each kill makes the next reload have 20 percent extra bullets compared to its base magazine size not the extended magazine size, but the original base magazine size would be. Uh, I've got showstoppers. I don't think they've got anything else because they always had an extra talent. I think this is bringing all of the named weapons into line so they all have an extra talent. So the showstopper ones remains the same. I don't have the extra ones, unfortunately, to show you, but there are full extensive patch notes. I will add, or try to add a link at the bottom of the video later. Alpha Bridge, another big change. Normally you get full set of four, six skills for each weapon. Now you only get one, two, three, four. You get the three base skills that come with the weapon you have, plus the third skill listed on the second weapon. So for example in this one, uh, my extra what skill on that one is Brutal, which is your one, two, three third skill there. Okay, so big changes for Alpha Bridge. They've been meaning to do that for a long time. That will stay Attention, in the game. The JTS is pleased to announce that limited internet access is We also have another change. Where's my vendor gone? He's not here anymore. So let's go looking, shall we? Go down into the hub. Where the most significant changes have occurred. Now, this is a special equipment vendor. Currently, with this build, he is still selling the named weapons. That is going to be knocked off in the next versions, obviously, because that is something they won't be doing. Over here, we have our crafting station as normal, but we also have a recalibration station, which we didn't have before. Why is that, you ask? Because over here, where the recalibration station is, or was, is the new last stand missions operation last stand this is your pvp full extensive pvp when you enter it first off you will go to the this gentleman here he will describe to you what happens you will go several missions to look at these things here this explains what these are and then you can access that. This is not actually a valid at the moment in this op um, in this build. Uh, the notes, patch notes, said that it wouldn't be live just yet. But you've got some significant changes there. However, those are all PvP missions. Last stand. But do not fear. PvE, friends. We have a new incursion. Stolen signal. Patch notes say that, or patch notes shall I say, hint that it will be peculiarly generated in a similar manner to the underground missions. Uh, if you know you're going to an underground mission and it's generally different uh, as you go through uh, various variations, uh, the patch notes hint that there are different entrances into that inc new incursion. 
uh, and then as you go in the, it changes throughout and only by completion of all of the items within that will you um, get the end boss and from that to me it sounds like a multi-stage underground mission style event obviously PvE uh, in underground now you won't get normal XP you will only be earning underground XP I don't believe this event has changed at all no he hasn't he's still selling his garbage yes 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 this is the first time I've been here under since uh, it was uh, relaunched so that's the underground so minor changes in underground making it uh, a bit more focused on underground itself there are very very long patch notes I won't bore you with them all details so you've got some significant changes there coming as I said nothing I suppose I should say nothing is actually set in stone in this particular build but Things like the change to the Alpha Bridge build. Agent, before we pulled out of the dark zone, the brass airdrops and some shade tech you. stations to coordinate so local ops. So you can Thing see. is, those tactical sites are still in there, sitting on all sorts of intel. Oh, hey, Agent. Right, so what you are looking at is one of the shade tactical terminals airdropped into the DZ before we pulled out. They were supposed to help coordinate ops, but well, that didn't work out so great. So they have just been sitting there, rusting. So these are Until SHD now, stations that are, up, and they are within the dark zone. With operational data we need. The terminal will bring you up to speed on how to get them fully online. Pause the video there if you want. Three, two, one. I'm moving on. That goes over to here. Inspect that. I've been a bit more bump. Again, you can pause the video. I'll give you three, two, one. I'm moving on. And then this shows you that it activates the portals which we remember these from the open world in various places where LMB were nasty things they are again moving on in three two one and it does say F to open but I'm not going to because I do believe it's definitely disabled still and right before I continue I'm about to go on to the most con potentially the most controversial changes that are coming. A lot of people are going to cry about this, bleat and whine. Over here, a premium vendor selling premium items. The assumption at this time is that these items are purchased using real money to buy premium credits. you can buy it is all just um, vanity items thankfully so no actual in-game impact for example there don't have enough premium credit to purchase item go to the store to wish you purchase some so escape they come out of there. there go to store which you can get in here which is locked in this particular version it doesn't want you buying any of these things but you would click there purchase with real money best prices, best gear. Come and your take a look. premium credits uh, but as I said you got full new vanity item sets there backpack skins which are basically the gun skins by the looks of it but they will be applied directly onto your backpack for example um, premium only weapon skins premium emotes uh, no idea never ever something that ever interested me in any game um, I would imagine console users probably use them more often because I have shortcut keys for that sort of thing it's a bit more difficult when you're in PC um, currently individual items for sale operator shoes operator gear set I have no idea what it looks like because it won't actually show you what it looks like I don't think anyway ah, preview there we go there we go look so that's what it looks like it looks a bit weird 
to be perfectly honest, I think. Don't you think? What have we got? So, I mean, the operator's shirt looks marpat from my point of view. Uh, the pants are just grey. The hat is some sort of bizarre ear flap thing. Almost like a baseball cap or a 1960s tank commander hat. It's a bizarre set, I'm telling you that for nothing. Bundles. A contractor. So I've no idea what the contractor one does. We don't have any previews for that on here. The clothing is just operator oh, stuff. Disappointing. And yes. People worried about getting premium items that are bought through cash that you add into the game That's afterwards. The People right will here. complain. Obviously, they're just vanity items. I can't imagine them putting stuff in that actually affects in-game performance at all. Enough people are going to buy vanity items. Because people like it. I'm going to be buying it. I'm probably going to buy them myself. Um, it's not something worry. that impacts the game. Although, you know, you always have this fear that once the floodgates are open, pay to win starts creeping in. We shall have to see again. This is an early, early build. We don't know any hey, of this nonsense. Agent. I need you to check in. Get the signal back up. We'll have to re-establish a connection. Let's get over to here. We'll have a quick look at the new incursion. We won't be running it. I don't want this video to last for hours. I'm certainly not equipped. But you can see from this here, DZ, all these three, three more zones up here. Look. Bring up the map again so you can see it in more detail. We have a completely new set there. We've got a specific mission. Agent, we've started pushing further into the dark zone. We're unlocking the gates that lead north towards Central Park. Okay, I won't let you use there. So we got the normal block off here would be DZ6 here. And then we're 6, 7, 8 and 9. And up there. Everybody said it was going to go to Central Park. I believe that is the new last stand missions take place in the Central Park area uh, not in the DZ area but I could be wrong but we'll find out at some point at the minute Agent we need you to get to the broadcast center stat Just we sent a team to restore emergency broadcast capacities center, but a load of Rikers showed up you know what they're capable Against of Rikers. we've got to get my people out of there alive I said I am not going to venture in there really now entering a safe area there are various other changes, um, and one significant one I remember is that when you are reloading, I should show you, when you're re sprinting and reloading, that doesn't work in this one. Oh, keep moving. Um, patch note said that when you are reloading, you're sprinting uh, you can't sprint and reload at the same time there is also supposed to be a, yep there is a cooldown for rolling you can't just roll and roll I just tried it there um, yes reloading um, the patch note said that uh, when you are running if you attempt to reload the reload will stop you running and you'll go back to a normal walk uh, likewise if you are reloading then go to sprint it will interrupt the reload so we'll watch for that one there's various changes to the changes to uh, medic skills which you need to be aware of and uh, make sure you watch the pat notes, patch notes for those and I'm not going to go in here dare I dare I all right how about this protein bar? Might be somebody doing it, you never know. Not sure whether it's live in this build, to be perfectly honest, we'll soon see. But apparently it's supposed to be really challenging. So we're going to give it a little bit of a go. Not in depth to it, just a sightseeing tour, I think, guys, okay? So if I suck at it. Our agent has joined your team. Yeah, if I suck at it, don't. Uh, 
leaves nasty comments on there. I'm not really going to give this a go. I'm certainly not optimised using an old Alpha Bridge build. Foggy is starting to get. Oh, right, there we go. Strikers have our team trapped in the broadcast center. Get in there. God knows what they're doing to them. Here we go. These people are crucial. Raising a person has now changed from three to five seconds. There we go. Close support from JTF, that's helpful. It's only glass. I'm meant to shoot them through the wall. At the end of the day. Ah shit, they've got hostages all over the place. You're gonna have to take these studios one at a time. Ammunition crate, ammunition crate, ammunition crate, ammunition crate, ammunition crate, there we go. I'm not sure, but... Okay, okay, looks like they've disconnected power to the door up ahead. Gonna have to fire up the local grid here to open it. Cool. Look at the new sign. That is awesome. Right. Yeah, shield guy, I think, is probably a really good thing here. Yeah, you cannot do that. That can get past that. Far so good. Hostage. Okay. Get out of here. This hostage is critical. Get her out of there. Really 
first, do the shooting first. Not much cover here. Big flanking attack. side of them. Stop the rushes. Alert. Detecting hostiles. Damn, that was too early. Thank you. 
actually hurts a lot. Mobile, dude. Oh, I am the focus of their attention, that's for sure. No, 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 Really need re oh, you need these things. Oh, grenades too. Alert. Friendly division agent is down. Oh, grenade. Good, not good, not good, not good. Don't do it, dude. Oh, and wipe. Wow. Shit. We're too late. So, that gets a bit hectic, doesn't it? Multiple people with multiple support stations. And there's three hostages. Oh, dude, you can choose. Oh, we went for this one first, did we? Okay. No, I think we've lost that one. I think we've lost that one. Guys, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, go that way. I think that hostage is dead. This hostage, is, not this hostage is critical. Get her out of there. Thank <laughs> you. 
a guard support station. Oh, we need a support station. Oh, that killed us in real space. Oh. Another thing for healing, you don't get a full full heal after you hit it. Press it and it does a heal over time. No instant reses guys, no instant reses. Disconnect. Is a PTS public to access server. I haven't got a problem with that. I think that's a good enough uh, show for you guys tonight. Uh, I hope to bring you some more later uh, on another video. I'll catch you later. Good night. <laughs>